on this Big Bang bot. And before I start this video, I have two announcements. First off, I've got crush you, bunny kusu. Good takes no guy kushu. Japanese version of Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. And I also have an N64 along with Diddy Kong Racing. So that's cool. But that's not the main attraction. Those are just videos I made unboxing videos for, but they failed, so I didn't upload them and I just deleted them. And they no longer exist. Because our, my, our main topic today is Mikey Angry Bird. And his second top 10 giant exploding robot reviews list. That's right, his second one. Whew. The first one was a disaster. Let me just say that. It was an absolute disaster. But hopefully this one's better. <coughs> it says he fixes all the stuff like the toys, the frozen DVD, and the confusion. Well, what the beep are them? Ah, oh, they're toys. That's what they are. But maybe he's going to remove them like he did in a little joke in his Pac-Man World video. So, not all hope is lost yet. Plus... He's doing his in two parts, so I'm doing mine in two parts, whether you like it or not. Plus, part two doesn't exist as of the time I'm making this. So, without further ado, let's start watching. Oh my god, his laptop is about to run out of power, or his... Well, is it his laptop, or is it just a regular computer? Well, it's running out of power, let me just say that. <sighs> that was odd. Oh, welcome back, everybody. After I made all those YouTube flash videos, like, <laughs> trillions of times, he did it like three times. I didn't count. You know, I'm actually going to check how many he did. Whether you like it or not. Surely I was off a, for, from a bit, but four isn't like a trillion. Well, four is a trillion to him, so whatever. I will do a top ten giant exploding robots review. But wait, you already did that, my first one? But hmm, I wonder what this reminds me of. Hmm, I wonder. I just, but I just can't put my finger on it. I just can't do it at all. Oh, how I wish that I could work out where he got that from. It's just an impossible task, which is just so annoying. It will take you to. Ugh, I hate it when YouTube does the stupid lag. The Jaguar. This game first came out the Sony PlayStation. Now, I know what you're thinking, you've reviewed this before, Big Bang Bot, yes? I may not have been the first one to do that, but I don't care, since I, since he's my second biggest fan. Yes, but I... I wouldn't be surprised if he got it from me. One of my YouTube friends is that you hated it, well, I will fix... Is he talking about me, or someone else? It's the problem, like, fix the, all those random jokes, and... Toys and... and just so you won't call me a hypocrite, I'm not having any toys or, or frozen DVDs. Nope, I'm not having any of that because I don't want to be called a hypocrite and I don't want to be a hypocrite. So, yeah. And some some stuff because I put Spell the Dragon on the number one cursey. So. Uh... What? Well done, you just spoiled the ending. You receive a punch in the face. Yeah, 
What? It's basically those are the those are like the types of rewards that are in how Nathaniel Rage and like his in like Nathaniel Bandy's series where he plays a really frustrating web game. There's in worthless prizes which aren't even worth it. Even though most of the time I do get it right, so that's cool. That I get random prizes which I don't see and I don't get. Not just worthless, but whatever. <laughs> By the way, it's really entertaining some of these things he does. He even does, like, he even discharges, like, a beanbag thingy while singing Let It Go and while being very angry. It's just so fun to watch. <laughs> even though he says Let The Storm Rage on so terribly. But then again, I've heard the song a billion times, so whatever. Top 10 giant explorer robot review of... In two parts, I guess. I don't know. Remake. Don't know how many parts there'll be, but I'm guessing it's two. Why can he just put them all in one video? I mean, he's done long videos like this before, but... Hey, I shouldn't complain too much. It just proves that he's lazy sometimes. So, because I want to get what I do, like... You do, like, split it into two parts, because... So, because part one is actually on today, when I watch... Part one is on today. I just want to punch you sometimes. So, it's split into two parts, because part one is on today. Part one is on today. Part one is on today! I've not heard something that stupid since... In my first review where I said, One thing I hate so much about the game is how rubbish it is! I, oh, that is just, it just makes me so angry! Ugh, let's just carry on. I still have faith in this. Recorded. And, and part two will be the worst, so let's do it. So, so he's going to do a best and a worst list. So that's how it's split up. Oh, now I get it. Well, number ten is Disney Golf. My first review, which was actually decent, and even if you can't call it decent, it was at the very least my first review, which actually didn't suck monkey balls. <laughs> I'm a genius sometimes. I, I will kill you if you do not play Super Monkey Ball 2, which you have to. Ah, oh, that was just cute. <laughs> Way too cute. And here's my copy of Mario Golf Total Tour. And I also have Mario Kart Double Dash. And I and it's one of the games that you can vote for. And if that voting system is still on by the time I upload this, it's, then vote for it if you want to see it. Unless you want to see Spyro 2, <sighs> Crash 2 again, or Disney World Quest Magic Racing Tour again, or Spider Man, then just vote. I only have three votes, and two of them on Spyro 2, which. And I definitely think. And since no one's voting, I definitely think I'll be playing, reviewing Spyro 2 next. Yes, this is actually his, like, his very first video that. My very first video. I'm speechless. No, really, I'm speechless. My very first video. I'm just speechless. I can't say anything. I just can't. I can't. I cannot comprehend what he just said. Okay. In case you don't know, I started YouTube back on October 11th, 2011, and you drew, and the video was made on August 22nd. 2014, no, 2013, sorry. Oh, 21st of August, I'm sorry. And, do you, and I'm not someone who waits forever to upload the first video, because I uploaded my first video back in, like, November. Ugh, but maybe he says something else after, oh, yes, he does. I, you may be calling me, he hypocritical, or maybe that's the wrong word, but stupid for complaining so early, commentators, even though I probably will never see a commentary on this video, but it could always happen, but still, whatever. This is his 19th review, I've said, because his reviews are getting so good, because... 
He loves my new reviews. He doesn't care that the quality is still off the TV. No, he loves them. It's actually better than his, like, thoughtful review. Now, uh, is he actually going to explain how my reviews have gotten a lot better over the years? Even though it's only been nearly three years, no, like two and a half years. Is he? Unfortunately for myself, I don't think so. I'm gonna have to unplug my N64 so I can plug in my charger so I can charge my laptop, which you do not beep and care about, but I beep and do, so beep and shut up, or else I'll beep and shove a pack of your packing beeping bum bum! Okay, that, I'm probably getting a bit too angry. Man, I'm 11 minutes into this video or into this reaction video and he's only 1 minute 43 seconds into his video. I have so much to talk about. My 4 fall review? I never made a review on 4 fall. For what I know, 4 fall is the villain in the Mario and Luigi games. I never made a review on him. That Disney Golf is so good, he did review this game. Like... I just told you August 21st, 2013, even though he can't read my mind all the time, so whatever. Oh, August 21st, 2014. Yeah, so here's this clip. It's a ripple of Mario Doll! In case you don't know, he likes it when I get angry. So I guess he's a huge fan of ABGN. I mean, I used to be a huge fan of AVGN, and while I don't watch him as much as I used to, I still enjoy his videos and still sometimes watch him, and I definitely watch his new his review or his newer reviews when he makes them. I mean, what game would you rather play? Would you rather play a golf game where you can play as many characters as you go on earth, or would you rather play a Mario game where you can play as The one I didn't throw behind my back. Okay, that's that's number ten. So number nine is He didn't explain why it was so good. At all. Is He's terrible at explaining things just so you know. And hey look, number twenty-three is Pac-Man World on the original PlayStation. And here's my Japanese copy. Because my European copy is downstairs, and I'm not going all the way downstairs to get that. Where did I gotta find that clip? Let's see, click, 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 click,
also the Japanese version is not for resale, even though I bought it online, which where the game was obviously for resale. You lying idiot Sony and Namco. Even you didn't stop people you didn't stop people from selling this game on eBay. So why did you lie to us? Review twenty three. Yep. And the release day is November 9th, 2013. We need the same map as Man of Steel with the Tomb Raider reboot. Dirt. Why is he talking about Man of Steel? I hate Man of Steel! Well, I know that some people love it, but I absolutely despise it with all my heart. Such a boring film. It's not interesting at all. It's stupid. It's boring! I just didn't care for it. Just burn Man of Steel. Don't watch it. You, but you might like it, but I most definitely didn't. And I knew that I wouldn't. Yeah. So this is actually coming to one of the packing good games of all time. Well, One of the packing good games of all time. Ugh! Don't say stuff like that. It just makes you want to punch you in the face. I haven't played it because this is actually really packing good review. He's gonna say packing a lot because he really packing wants to that silly packing pack. Who I said. Yeah, because it's so great, I guess she's very cool play that clip, so He doesn't explain why he loves the review. He just says that the game is great even though he probably hasn't played it. Although he could have. And that is something that this list suffers from. One thing you need to learn, my Angry Birds, especially for part two, explanation, explain. Instead of explaining why he loves it so much, he just makes stupid jokes. Pac-Man, kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill, kill. Shut up now. Okay, okay, So, let's see. Explain more. Let me find that clip. You should have done this before you started filming. It's going to take a while. I just get a you know, I need to tell him something right now. <laughs> okay, don't make part two until I upload my <laughs> reaction video on this and you watch it fully and answer my questions which you never do by the way oh and please make a reactive video on my friend james of 447s or James hate creep, hates creepers as he now has. He is now known as review on Tom and Jerry World of because I'm in it, and if you actually do it for me, I will not pester you with re reaction video requests until September at all. So that would be a wise move if I were you. I would do it if I were you. Whoops. Number eight is WarioWare, WarioWare mini game, mini game, mini S lap, or micro mega micro games if you. Or made in Wario. Or American, <laughs> like American chess. Like, I don't know what the Chinese version is called though. Hmm, I'm you know I'm really curious. I'm looking it up. Okay, I found it, and it says this. Say something! Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna try and read it myself. Wally O Z Zao. So I have, I have no knowledge of Chinese. Just let me listen to you. Oh, that's annoying. And it turns out it says Wario Manufacturing. Okay, and the Japanese translation is Kawawara Ryokuno Kawawara Ryokuno Sezo or Tile Force Structure Osei. Okay, I just wasted my time, but hey, whatever. Because the review is actually released on April 20th, 2014, but the sad fact I didn't do it because it's actually, like, I see some skippy delays because of the damn flood in our house! Seriously? He's getting angry. In toilet. Now I know... Cortala! Oh, I don't know what meat is in Spanish, so that sucks. Hey, look! It's carne, just like in Italian. That's nice for me. And this is also, you know, and that might even apply to my reviews. I don't know. Okay, maybe not for my reviews, but definitely for Crash games. It sucks. No, go to the toilet. It burns. That was terrible. No, not into the toilet. It burns. That was better than what he did. I can tell you that much. He never explains anything. He just says random things and tries to find the right clip on screen. You gotta see these IG gadgets we celebrated the 36th review yet to release like in July, I guess. Because it's that Whenever I hear him predict a release date for anything, it just makes me want to shoot myself. Yes, my next review may come on July. I'm not releasing it in June, I can tell you that. But, you gotta wait. You released on January 5th, 2014. And also, the fun fact is. What's the fun fact? Yeah, because I really did the reaction video, like. Back in, like. Let's see if I find her. Oh my god, he's looking! And while he hated it when I. I'm, but I don't wanna be a hypocrite, so I'm not skipping this. Ooh, everything wrong with Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I, li I like Cinema Sins. Okay, this is actually going to be my 400th review. Uh, Man, he counts his stuff, okay? So he's decent at maths, but terrible at English. Okay, I understand that. I mean, I used to be terrible at English. And while I'm still not the best at English, I'm definitely a lot better than him. This before. I'll be happy if I find it. Now, while you find it, you can explain why you love this review so much. <laughs> Even though he's just gonna say it has a lot of great moments and I just enjoyed it. That's all he's gonna say if he does end up explaining Where his thoughts. 
Okay, I'm going to do a similar thing on how he should do it. At number seven is Ray is Big Bam Boss Rayman review, which was his 27th review, released on June 5th, 2014. This was a remake of his. Ah, uh, this is terrible. I apologise. This is a remake of his eighth review. Yes, I knew it was my eighth review. Rayman. Okay, I need to re completely redo this. And number seven is Big Bang Boss Rayman review. We'll re-review it. Okay. Ah, I need to say this perfectly. Uh, just to make sure that he knows what to do. At number seven is his Rayman re-review, which was his 27th review released on June 5th, 2014. Which was a remake of his review, his eighth review, released back in... April of 2012. May of 2000, May 11th 2012. Oh my god, all you have to say is tell us the what review it is, what rev, what what the position of the review is, as in what review it was, as in if it was like the 19th or the 20th or the 55th or the 2020th review, and then say when it was released. And if it's a remake of the old review, mention that, and then explain. Then you know, here's the explain bit. I love this review because he explains in very good detail. It has a lot of entertaining moments, and overall, it's just great. If I have to say one thing I don't like about the review is that it goes on for a little bit too long and there are some jokes which I didn't like but overall I enjoyed the review a lot. That is basically what he has to say but nope he just says random beep and then shows us a clip. Well at least there are no toys and frozen DVDs this time. Seriously, did he check out that? Did he check out Smash Master's top ten John Tron reviews list? Did he? Because he should have. Because that would have kind of helped him with how he should have structured this. Raise the clip. Yes, and that's why I think of soundtrack. I can't find it. Where's the clip? Oh, there he is. 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 There he, is. he left this in the beeping video. That is too un. That is too unprofessional for me to even mention. I'm clicking on that dislike button right now. Unless he can redeem himself, uh, that thumbs down is staying there. And just to let you know, and this, and I'm just only showing you this because I'm I got into it because I found it and I thought it was kind of interesting. On his Little Mermaid review, there was someone who actually hated it. Yeah. It was this guy called Sam Rogers, or Rojas. I don't know. And he said, what is this? Please unsubscribe to this kid. Now, if you've subscribed to him, will you unsubscribe to him? I have no idea. I'm not subscribed to him, and I'm not going to subscribe to him. And that's all I'm saying. The end. I wonder if he'll watch this video and say a, another terrible thing about it. Okay. Or a terrible thing about it. Enemies that take forever to kill. Okay, this is Look at this. I'm hitting him, yet he's not dying. Why is it the best part ever? It's just me getting angry that he won't die. Die, you big, fat rock monster. Yeah, because rock monsters are too hard to beat, but they come back, but they need to be. Yes, they're Roman Origins. Oh, yeah. Finally! That's how I said finally. Isn't that how someone would say finally when they finally get to use the toilet? I don't know. He just loves that. Now, what's on the next part? Oh. It's interesting seeing the positions, but he's doing a terrible job actually making a top ten. Absolutely. Okay. 
Right, if he just showed us one clip from each and didn't say anything about them, that would actually make a better top ten video. I'll admit that. This is number six. Uh, oh wait, long rest. When I gonna find that Little Mermaid one? Let's see. Where's the Little Mermaid? Okay, I, because it didn't have like much moments. So. Why is he going to the Little Mermaid? Uh, is that the next one? I thought you said that was in your top three. I don't know. It won't take long. I only made I made it very shortly after you or before you made this. So basic. What was Tigger's Honey Hunt doing on there? Why didn't you start, Mikey Angry Birds? Listen, when you're going to make a top ten, make sure you are organised. So make sure you've got what you want, you've got the part that you want, and then start making it. From there, don't waste our times by look or waste our time by looking for it. Oh my god, that is just so annoying. She's saying random things now. Stop. Stuff like this where I'm glad I'm not subscribed to him. Okay, that's just one real too. Okay. All of them take a guess. So let's see. Uh, number six is the Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid two. Ooh, he changed his mind. It was originally going to be in the top three, but now it's not. Going to the sea for the PS1. Well, this is, this is, this is review 35. Uh, 35, yeah. Maybe we go. Uh, see, you said it's June 18th to the 14th, so that's like. Let's see, it's like one week from, 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 from now. So let's see. Because I did love this review, because I like it. Because it's so memorable. He loves it because he likes it. Hmm, I wonder what that reminds me of. I have no idea what it reminds me of. It, li I literally have no idea what it reminds Hello, me of. It doesn't remind me of anything. It reminds me of absolutely nothing that I could come up with. Absolutely nothing. You just remind me, did me, of one of the most awful things that any intelligent life form could even comprehend. Oh my god. You have to have beat up so hard to do that. And I mean so hard. And he actually did it. Well done! You just made this a billion times worse than it already was! Because it's actually my favourite next to the Spyro Dragon review, well... Then why the beef is it on number- <gasps> Oh wait! Maybe Spyro the Dragon is number five even though he said it'd be up number one! Now I get it! So that's gonna be my number one spot. What? But you're spoiling number one! Don't do that! Unless you're making a list of the worst superhero games and it's Superman 64. And second off, this is your favourite review behind Spyro the Dragon, even though this is at number six and not at number two. Why do I still exist? Why is this his favourite moment? I don't get it. Absolutely. My the image isn't even too clear. You lose even though you technically win, but whatever.
at least give us a point to collect every single part of the mini game or game. That is just so annoying. You can't see me. Just because I proved to you that this game has nothing when you beat it with all of the piles. Absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. You lose, but win at the same time, but whatever. You get nothing. You lose. Even though you win. Oh, sorry, I forget, like, the other four. Why I love it. Yeah. I'm sorry. Please kill me. I'm sorry. He should have done this all before making this! And by making this, I mean recording. Thumbnail. They had a picture of Sonic Generations, and I thought, I never knew you Sonic Generations. Why did you write Sonic Generations? Sonic Generations, and then I and now this has reminded me that I actually used had Sonic Generations in my Crash Team Racing review, or just showed you the box, which makes a lot more sense now. Number five is Crash Team Racing. Yeah, I fixed the error of why I put the number one in my, in my original one. Now I fix it in my number... You fixed it even though your supposed number two spot is at number six. That is not fixing anything. ever watch my wipeout review maybe you should do a reaction video on that oh wait if you review if you do a reaction video on my friend's super super boss review with me in it then everything will be fine you can wait until september yeah because i like this review because like his why <gasps> maybe he's gonna say something decent this time like this other because next to like Crash Bandicoot revisited because my reaction was what she said it sucks. How the beat does that make the review good? You know what? I give up. I just plain give up. I'm not taking it anymore. I give up. Okay, I'm just gonna carry on, but he's just making me angry. Well, I think could like either like do it and like something I should do like if I remove it or I just kept it. Yeah, yeah because I love it. Because I love this moment he says nah, to, to Oxide. Like. The only reason why he loves it is just because I compare Oxide with Sonic the Hedgehog. Kinda like Smash Master loves that Malkovich John Tron episode because it has Eagle Raptor in a dress. But the only difference is that he actually liked it for more sophisticated reasons, and the only reason why he loved this review is because of that one clip. And by more sophisticated, I mean he didn't just love it for the ego after an address, he loved it because it was just entertaining, and it was interesting, and some people, and it could have been funny, and some bits were kind of funny, and I will not mention ego after an address again in this video. And I don't know if I ever will again. I probably will, but I don't know when. No, oh, come on, where's it beeping? I just. <laughs> I can't comprehend how bad this is. I mean, the original one was bad enough, yes, but this. This is just. Ah! Sonic the Hedgehog is completely different to Sonic the Hedgehog. Thank you very much. Why did you randomly show us your face? I don't get it. Um, well, you 
I haven't been this angry since I was, I was playing Walt Disney World Quest Magic Racing Trial. I'm kind of thankful that no one's voting for it. Avenue Oxide. No, you have not. And that's weird because a, a lot, because from what I'm aware, a ton of planets which have intelligent life forms, they do have video games. Oh, and I know that for a fact. Do not question me because I will kill you. You do. Okay, I won't kill you, but I'll hurt you. Okay, I won't be very nice to you, that's all I'm going to say. So basically, the story is that was So he likes my explanation of the story. It's not even good enough to... He's just so weird. Surely the spoilers may be a bit outdated, but I'm still leaving it there. I finally complete the game, it's sitting on my shelf. I beat it before I reviewed it. Just standing, just waiting for me. Yeah. Yeah, we're great. Okay. So here's the best moments ever. You spend me right. Here's one of the best moments ever. That's nice. I find you right. I wonder if he'll ever make his top ten favorite moments. It's from me. I wonder if you'll ever make that. That was terrible. Yeah, because I fixed it in on the number four spot on my number nine because I put it on the four list. So let's continue on. He's basic. You do not need to explain. You do not need to tell us where they originally were. You can mention it if you want to. I mean, some remake countdowns mention things like that. They mention the old number one spots. But you don't have to do it all the time. Yeah. I'm spinning around, guys! Wait, I need to do this even more. I need to do this absolutely greatly. So you need to see me. I got to do that, so that's nice. And I don't know how you ended up seeing it, but whatever. As in, you, the audience. But that was obvious. Okay. Uh, uh, ha ha. Uh, oh, I this. Okay, there you go. Yeah, you should have organized this. Uh, well, at least we hopefully know what the next boy is. Or well, I hopefully know. Come on, where is it? Darn it, Daddy. And last but not least, are the speed. He doesn't even say anything! Except for random things. It's actually like four, but whatever. A while, but whatever. Not whatever. That's actually a flaw. Seven, six, five, four. Number three is. He loses count. This is one of the worst top tens ever. No, I find I got a missing one. 
we mentioned I could do that random stuff why I put my, why I didn't put Mario Kart 8 in it. So there won't be Mario Kart 8? She doesn't like it enough to put it in this list. Hmm. Uh. Well, well at least we know. <gasps> Is it Mega Man? I'm confused. Remember it. Remember the Mega Man. Okay. Okay, uh. Bentley. I'm confused now. He said that he fixed the confusion. Yet yeah, he didn't. Beeping liar. Fire three. Yeah, because you're stupid. What? Do you call me stupid? Seriously. Okay. I don't know if I called you stupid in the comments, but I. But if I did, I there are some times where I don't regret doing it. Shut up already, Mr. Bentley. Uh, Who's Bentley? Okay. And there goes. So because. Are you talking about the Bentley from Sly Cooper, or are you talking about a random Bentley that you have with you? I don't know. I love this review because you. Might Please go into decent detail. And. Uh, he likes it because I like M&M's or because I eat M&M's! <sighs> you don't even know how angry I am right now. Uh, okay, I'm not super angry, but I am angry. And that the story thing is, like, the bottom right here, on the left. Yes. Just show it to us and not explain roughly where it is. I think I'm gonna prefer the Senic the Beacon Hedgehog. And then all of a sudden, the monster from Cloverfield comes along, and he turns into the cameraman from Cloverfield. And then that portal gate thing goes off. It sounds so much like the Sega Saturn menu sound effects. Oh, not really getting away, thing. I am literally confused because I thought he said they wouldn't put it on it, but he did! Well done! Hey guys, we're almost done with the... with the moment of truth. The, the moment of truth. The moment of truth is when I type in... Oh my god, I hate it when YouTube doesn't let me do this stuff. Hey look, I have something in my inbox and it's actually him replying to this thingy. And it turns out that part two is not coming out until July 16th. That's kind of a long way, but... And that's and it's also a Pacific date, so he's actually planning on when he's making this. But at the very least, he has plenty of time to watch this video and look at his mistakes. Moment of truth. And the moment of truth is when I type in... 42. No, seriously, the moment of truth is a lot better than this stupid thing. The best one is, like, I love this review because I have, because my God. Is it because I go into a lot of detail? And no one else goes into as much detail? It, is it because you just enjoy how much of the things I point out, even though I didn't point out everything? Is it because there are so many moments that you love? Just tell me! This is now in my favourite games of all time list. So he likes this review just because Mario Kart 8 is in his favourite in his favourite games all time list. I can't live anymore. I just can't. Whenever I hear this guy's stupid reasoning for why he does this stuff, he just makes me really annoyed. And I mean really annoyed. Ugh. That wasn't even funny. Wait, Grandpa Angry Bird, are you in the background? Sorry. Okay, because I love this review, because this is this review, uh... He loves it because it's my 34th review. Oh, I just can't... take in all of this nonsense anymore. I just can't. I thought he was going to do it 
on the Friday, I guess, but... He thought I was going to do it on a Friday, but I did it on a Sunday. What? This guy's reasoning for why he loves reviews is awful. No, he's probably going to love the Penguins of Madagascar just because it was released in November of 2014, not March of 2015. That is just... This guy is so weird. I just... Ugh. I just can't explain how weird this is. Until on June 1st, which is like Sunday, which is like three weeks over now. Oh, just a cheesecake foot, get away. It's a cheesecake? What? Oh, sorry, I saw you person. Sorry. Or flubber, get away. Okay, let's just watch this clip. I do. I mean. Okay, let me see. Uh, can I find a clip? Excuse me. Uh. I would tickle you if I could. The outside of the class around the America 64 is also kind of cool and a bit of freedom. The nurse is in there. Terrible English, I know. And I don't know. You just sound like bad English. Well, at least it's better than your English and my 11 year old self's English. And my idea is to let you listen to which uh, the Brazilian Portuguese version of Let It Go, which is considered one of the worst versions of Let It Go. Leave so. Back, I was watching this list on the top 40, on Elsa's top 42 best voices, and guess what was 41st? Brazilian Portuguese. It's not leave restore, it's leave restore. I do not. Or stole. I do not speak Portuguese, but I know some things. And I'd also like to mention Mikey Angry Bird trying to recite lyrics. That wasn't funny. Thank you, thank you, thank you, manager guy. Or manager guy. Okay. Let's get going. After the race. This guy's jokes are terrible. You don't have eyes in your nose. Why are you talking about cancer? This is supposed to be a top ten list. You're supposed to talk about cancer. Which, unless it's based around cancer. Or if you're just making a little joke. But one, you shouldn't make jokes about cancer. And two, you shouldn't just randomly mention cancer. Don't do that cancer joke! 
And we all know what number one is going to be. Every single one of us has he spoiled it like twice in this whole beating thing. Now here we have it. The number one spot of this terrible countdown. And we all know what it is. So let's get this over with. That's our job. Alright, this is like in two less, so... Number one! Number one of the best Giant Flurry Robots review is... There's no... Recap, but I don't mind. A lot of countdowns don't have a recap. Spyro the Dragon. We all expect it, because you spoiled it at the beginning of the video, and even halfway through the video. Finally, I fixed that thing. I put number ten to number one for that. In my literal review. Yeah. So let me find that joke. I hope you see why I hate this. I should like put two jokes on the number five. Two jokes on the number five. I don't even want to hear some of the stuff. The chest. Enemies. He literally says nothing about the review. I hope he says more after this. Actually, I'm the one trying to open it, but whatever. What? I can't open it! Why can't I open it? I'm trying to put this key in the hole! Put it work! Okay, I'll let this... And another joke, which is like, the best one is that to be... Why is the camera inverted? Let me see, what should I find that? Why is the camera inverted? Why is it... Why is the camera inverted? Why is the camera inverted? There are some reasons why I don't like every... There are some reasons why some countdowns are awful, and that is one of the reasons. No organization. <laughs> okay, we almost stopped because it's actually almost 22 minutes. What? It's your back. YouTube knows how bad this video is, so it's not letting you show us the clip. Not put the beat on it, not car. cocktail. What the heck? What's <laughs> happening? Why is this error? Don't worry, my mind was like that when I found out what the new YouTube layout is like. Okay, and I think it's just like broken or something. My computer's broken. No organization. No good video. This is broken. No explanation. No good video. Seriously? Okay. Maybe he needs like broken. Ah, okay, uh let me do mission with the little clouds. And he didn't cut this bit out of the video. That's why he needs some organization. Where is it? Oh, thank you. I finally fixed it. And bad news is that you can't. I must go back where I am. And, and the other bit of bad news is that this video sucks. Darn it. Darn it, YouTube. Okay. Okay. Seriously. Yes, yes, I found it! 
finally um, did it! I finally did it! Yes! Yes! I finally did it! See everybody? And let's just go to back to the where I am. Hold triangle to go in this camera view. You can use L2 and R2 to move the camera, which... By the way, you press L2 to go right and R2 to go left. So, I guess it's inverted! Yes! Looks like the boss of Gloverfield returned. nothing about the number one spot he said nothing absolutely nothing he didn't say why he loved it he didn't explain at all the the whole number one slot was just him it was just youtube not working for him there's something called organization use it this is part one for now this is actually put the best list and then I now all i'm actually going to go on to my rant on the title. Not that I've done enough ranting already, but this is Top 10 Giant Exploding Robot Review, but that should say Reviews, Remake, Part 1. And he finished the Top 10 list, and the Top 10 Worst list is going to be Part 2. The Worst List on a video called Top 10 Giant Exploding Robot Reviews is going to be Part 2. Two. Where do I even begin? On most countdowns, what they do is that they make. I'm not. Well, unless they put them both on one video, which they often do. If it's a best list, they call it a top ten and. Or top 10 best, and if it's the worst, list, they call it a top 10 worst, not part one and part two. What is this kid thinking? Is he did he eat too much sugar for breakfast? What? 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 Don't call the worst this top 10 giant exploding robot review remake part two. No, call it top 10 worst giant exploding robot reviews. No part two. No, I'm not accepting that. No, 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 no. No, it's unacceptable. No. <laughs> that just makes me so angry. Has he ever watched a top ten list before? Maybe except for his first one, which was a very good countdown to begin with. I mean, this is just... Not acceptable. I'm just gonna watch the rest of this and I'll rant about this rant more on this video. We'll do part two on July. Now I think I should like take a break for I would like to do some YouTube poop videos and some annoying orange videos and some stuff. A tiny update at the end of the video. Plus if you make that <sighs> reaction on Super Boss Review number one, I will not bug you with reaction videos until September. There's some jazz. <laughs> so guys, I was like see you for like part two of the top ten best of, uh, giant exploding robots review worst. Then how the beep is it part two of top ten giant exploding robot reviews if you've already done the top ten and then you're moving on to the worst list? It just makes me want to punch myself. Now when I was watching this, I thought it, it was split into two parts, as in he'd do a certain amount on the, the first part, and then the second part he'd do the rest, as in he did like 10 to 6 on part 1, and then 5 to 1 on part 2. But no, he's doing the best on part 1, and the worst on part 2, I just want to kill myself sometimes. Yeah, I will see you for more, so bye for now. Bye! Why does he say bye 30 seconds before he ends the video? Yeah.
toys for that because I why I use toys because toys are also your important thing because like like so my Logan and the character works out but everybody else always use some plushers. So shut up already, so bye for now, bye. I don't want to get a black hat because the whole bomb will not get head cancer. Don't do the cancer job! Alright! Bye! Bye for now, bye! So, that was his remake of his top 10 Giants Ferry Robot Reviews list. And where do I even begin? The first one was a bad enough countdown. I mean, it had stupid jokes, it had stupid pointless toys, and overall it was just stupid. But... Despite that, it did not make me super angry while watching it, from what I remember. I may have to re-watch it, but I don't remember getting angry. This video, however... Oh my god, you guys saw how angry I got while watching this. I was so angry. He, he claimed that he fixed all the flaws of the original, when in reality, he didn't! He just... It was still confusing in some ways. There was one frozen joke. He started the video off by showing toys, which may be false belief things, and the title itself and the part one bit are just... <laughs> Is, I was not expect again. I was not expecting a professional countdown. I wasn't, but I was expecting something better than this. Yet I didn't get something better than this. No, I got something worse than this. I didn't dislike this video because it didn't make me that angry, but. This, on the other hand, did. And it already took me seven minutes to click that dislike button. That is not good. This video just raged me with anger. So much anger. So much hate. If I were you, I'd delete this list. And I would... And if you want to make your top 10 worst list, either A, make the kind of commentary that I basically wanted you to do, and I kind of explained how I wanted you to do, or B, have no commentary whatsoever, and just show us consecutive clips of the awful reviews, with organisation, with jump cutting. But... I don't, unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen, because he's probably not watching this bit, he probably just skipped everything. He probably doesn't watch everything, because he does not answer any of my questions, and he does not put any comments most of the time, and I'm just so mad. This video was a disaster. I absolutely hated it. Almost as much as some of my older reviews. I just hated this. <sighs> so, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, especially you, Mikey Angry Birds. Rate and subscribe. His fans may get angry at me for doing this, but I. But I had experience of top tens. I've watched tons of them and I know how they should go and I wasn't expecting it to go like a proper top ten but I was expecting something that made me this angry. But that's enough ranting and I'm just gonna end it here. This is Big Bang Bot signing out.